everybody welcome to the channel i am sim noobsy and today we have a speed build of a special house that i built as a subscriber thank you to my friend teresa also known as, as innocence now for those of you that don't know on twitch for anyone that subscribes to my channel my thank you to them is to build a house of their choosing or a build of their choosing um and they can also ask to have me do a custom background instead of the house build um i know i said that kind of weird and i just realized that for some reason i was kind of was struggling to get that out which isn't good because we just started the voiceover and i'm already having issues and we're like what not even two minutes in wow all right <laughs> this should be fun <laughs> so anyways yeah i was saying this is a thank you build for Teresa and I had a lot of fun with this one because I was able to use all of the CC that I wanted to <laughs> because she loves CC just as much as I do so um now this house is up on the gallery but if you decide to download it you're gonna be missing a lot of stuff because of the fact that I do have so much custom content in it um now i'm probably going to post it up on tumblr um i haven't decided 100 percent yet on that but i'm i'm thinking i'm going to as long as Teresa is fine with it so um because you know i mean sometimes you get a special build i mean you don't always want to share it right so <laughs> anyways um so yeah this is not actually named gray lady like it says up in the top left corner um i just kind of did that i don't know why i was thinking i was going to call it that because that just didn't make any sense so <laughs> so i just renamed it something simple and decided to call it Teresa's house so because i mean it's her house so <laughs> and it just made sense to me um now as i was saying i did have a lot of fun with this i put a little bit of a different roof style on there uh well not really different style but i decided to have a little bit of the the curved roof lines because after doing lavender lane with the kind of curved roof lines on that one i kind of fell for those and i really really like them i think they're super cute so i wanted to do that on this build as well and i really liked the gray color of the outside of the house with the white um trim i couldn't think of what i was trying to say so yeah the gray actually it kind of looks blue but it's supposed to be gray i don't know i guess it just depends on how it looks on your side so um but yeah it was supposed to be gray <laughs> and i don't know maybe we don't have a true gray siding i could have been looking at it wrong i'm not sure but i did use the chunky looking eaves because those are my favorite they really are and i just think they look really nice because they add a little bit of texture to the house um did i fix yeah i think it did i just I, I saw the chimney and i couldn't remember if i fixed the trim that went around it but of course i did because that's why i resized it so <laughs> anyway now that window in the front there i'm going to later in the video i don't know if it's actually shown because some of my recording or i shouldn't say some of my recording some of my work on the house did not get recorded because i was doing it on stream and i think you guys miss like the entirety of me doing the backyard and the driveway that's in the front um and landscaping too i think all of that got missed which I mean is fine because I'm looking at the timing on this video and we are already at 20 minutes, which is way longer than what I like to do for my speed build videos. But this house was pretty big and I guess I just decided, you know what, we're just gonna keep a little more in it. I don't know. Um, because my in intention was to try and keep it like around 15 minutes or 17 at the most. And yeah, we kind of went past that, so. <laughs> anyways here we are with the kitchen um as you can see custom counters uh cabinets sink stove what else um flooring 
and we have custom windows in the dining area here and the flooring in the dining area i was actually originally going to make it a different color i can't tell you how many times i changed the flooring in that room before i finally said you know what forget it it's just gonna match it's fine and same with the rug I had a terrible time picking the rug that took me forever and even the table and chairs themselves it took me so long <laughs> i was like this should not be this hard but it is so here is the master bedroom um it's not super huge for a master bedroom but i mean it's it's still good size and i was struggling with the wall coverings in this build or in this room because I really wanted to use this pretty wallpaper that I had, but it was too much to use for the entire room. And I don't, I didn't really know like what color to use with it to make it like an accent wall and then, you know, have the rest of the walls a different color. But in the end, I, I think I kind of, I think I made it work. And this room ends up being my favorite. I think as far as the bedrooms go um because this is a four bedroom a four bathroom home and it's actually built on a 30 by 20 lot i believe um yeah as you can see i usually <laughs> I used a ton of custom content like I was only going to use a little bit in the beginning when I first started the build and like I was just going to do windows basically um yeah I, I couldn't I couldn't stop myself <laughs> once I got into it I was like I can't I can't I gotta I gotta use this so yeah that's what happened so yeah but and I think it turned out cute though I really honestly I'm I, in love with this house because we have the master bedroom upstairs we have two kids rooms which actually are both toddler rooms which i don't know why i did both toddler but it's not like it can't be changed if necessary um now as far as favorite rooms in the house like not just favorite bedroom i think my favorite room in the house would have to be the office which should be coming up shortly um i just i really like the way that it turned out but I mean, the kids' rooms turned out really good. Um, I think, yeah, that bathroom there, I was kind of, I was kind of iffy on the wallpaper. I was like, you know what? We'll just say they haven't had a chance to renovate that one yet, because maybe they just bought the house and they hadn't had a chance to get in there and change the wallpaper yet. I mean, you know, I mean. It, it could happen that way you never know <laughs> so that was my thoughts on that and i really liked that winnie the pooh picture that i used in that room but i'm pretty sure i ended up swapping it because i just didn't like the way the colors looked with the wallpaper that i used and here is that office that i was talking about that painting that i have up there is one of my favorite custom paintings that i have and as far as who I used for custom content, I used a lot of Peacemaker and Severinka, I believe was the other one that I used a lot of. And I'm pretty sure there was probably like a random custom content creator thrown in here and there, but the majority of it is the two of them because I love their work, especially Peacemaker. He is my absolute favorite for custom content and there's just so many nice items that he has and like the paintings are like wonderful i absolutely love the paintings that i get from him um not to mention you know like the furniture and the rugs and everything and it's yeah he's definitely my go-to <laughs> for custom content and here we are working on the girls room oh wait maybe not are we doing the bathroom okay i lied we're doing the bathroom real quick oh i could have left that out i guess that probably would have helped with time but um that bathroom i know it ended up being a little adult looking for a kid bathroom but i just was like you know what we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and that was nice my computer just tried to go to sleep on me um and i'm really sad that i couldn't use that unicorn i said was that a unicorn yeah unicorn chair because it was so cute and i really wanted to use it but i wanted to use the tent or tp whatever 
chair more because that actually functions as like a chair. So yeah, the plush toy chair, whatever you want to call it, had to go. <laughs> and yeah, I noticed that the tent was poking out the corner there. I promise I did fix that. And I think I had to rearrange things just a little bit because that room is actually quite small. Um, I really could have made the bathroom a little smaller, at least taken that one cabinet out and pushed that wall back, but I don't think that really would have helped that much. It would have been nice to try it though. I probably should have, but it's fine. I think everything works okay. I did not... Did I play... No, I didn't play test anything inside. I think the only thing I play tested was the little fire feature that I made in the backyard, which was kind of surprising to me that it actually worked and I really wish that I would have gotten that in the video but I didn't so I think I put at least a still shot of it at the end of the video um basically what I did was I took the shortest half wall I think or maybe one up I don't remember um but I made like a, a rectangular shaped enclosure thing with the half wall and then I placed a bunch of rocks in there and kind of floated them up. And then I took a campfire. I believe I used the one from Outdoor Retreat. And I put that in there. Actually, I used three of them, like one in the middle and then one on each end. And I floated them down just enough to where the very tip of the wood that's used in them was poking up through the rocks. And I did that for all three of them. And then I tested it to make sure that your sim could actually go and light these fires with it being inside of that little half wall um, enclosure thing and with all of the rocks on top of it. And it worked. So it looks like a really cool um, fire feature where you've just got rocks with fire coming out of it because I sized the campfires down before I floated them in there, but the flames stayed the same size. So that was really cool. I was very happy that that worked out the way it did because I wasn't 100% sure if it was going to, but I remembered if I sized down candles, the flames would stay the same. So I thought, well, I mean, it's gotta be the same concept of the fire. So I tried it out and yeah, sure enough, it worked. So, um, but here we are with the living room. And of course this pretty much all got, skipped because I did it on stream and the wallpaper I absolutely love that wallpaper I really do um I wasn't a hundred percent sure about using it throughout the living room and then the hallway and everything there but I think once I got like the uh pictures hung up and that mirror there and just you know kind of filled it in with a little more clutter type stuff it grew on me and I I decided it wasn't as bad so because it kind of you know you put the paintings and stuff it, it kind of breaks up the wall coloring a little bit and distracts your eye a little bit with it so um so that actually ended up working out and I think I'm trying to remember I didn't really do a whole lot there with the little corner with the desk um I did end up sizing down that rug though because I thought it was too small and this room turned out pretty good too and I think I can't remember who that bed was by and I'm trying to look at the at the screen at the thumbnails and I can't <laughs> I can't tell who it was because I I want to say that was Severinka but it could have been one of my other ones but I'm pretty sure that was who that was so and I love that dresser that comes with the pictures on top of it um that one I'm about 99% positive that came from Peacemaker but again I could be wrong because you know I can't always tell the difference between the two <laughs> so because I'm still learning with them all I'm you know still fairly new to using build custom content but this room just it turned out really cute and I was very happy with it and those little plants I just adore having those little plants. They're my favorite thing because I love having potted plants and things all around the house because it just, I don't know, it just makes it feel a little more cozy, I guess. Maybe not cozy. I don't know. 
it just I just like the way it looks we'll just go with that and I was trying to figure out oh yeah I guess you do <laughs> yeah that's where those shutters came from I forgot to take them off <laughs> So I uploaded it and everything with those shutters on there and I didn't realize it until it was too late and I was like, oh darn it. So yeah, um, okay, I was just checking to make sure that my audio recorder was still recording, but yeah, it looks like it's fine. Okay. And I did stick a small bathroom downstairs because I wanted to make sure that I got one in somewhere down there so that everybody wouldn't have to go upstairs and you know use each other's bathrooms because I got to thinking they I'm pretty sure they're all connected to the bedrooms so that means your son would have to walk through somebody's bedroom to get to the bathroom and I wanted to hopefully avoid that and put in that little bathroom down there so um and the clock that I used on the wall here was super cute I really liked it I don't remember if it made it into the screenshots, though it should have, because I did all of this, like, um, off stream, so I'm pretty sure it'll show up. And then I wanted to use the backsplash all around the whole kitchen area, because I thought that would look really nice. Um, but then I decided I wanted to put a window in behind the sink, which I don't know why I do that. I just, I don't know, I imagine, you know, if you're standing at the sink and you're having to wash dishes or something, I mean, you're going to want to look out the window. At least I usually do, so. <laughs> and I adore those little custom mugs and things that I got. This was really, this was like a last minute um, decision to put the, put the little mugs over there. <laughs> I just, I saw them in the, the build by catalog and I was like, ooh, that'd be really cute. So yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I really like those decorative dishes too. They look really good. And the dough there on the, the cookie board, whatever you want to call it, cutting board, I guess. I thought that was really cute too with the book open there. Although now that I'm looking at everything, I don't know if there's enough space for the sim to actually cook. So something might have to get moved. I don't know. Um... Either way, it's still, I thought it turned out really cute. So yeah, and I don't know what that thing was. I like took it out because I wanted to look to see what it was. And then I put it back. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, this isn't anything that I need. So yeah. But yeah, I think the kitchen turned out really well. And I really liked the backyard, the way that turned out also. Um, there's a, a nice seating area out there for your Sims to enjoy that fire feature I was talking about. And there's a monkey bar set out there, a slide, a sand pit, um, which is functional by the way, uh, as long as you have Sulani. So, or I'm sorry, as long as you have island living. Um, but yeah. So anyways, you guys, I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end of the video. So I think I'm going to end the voiceover around this point in time. Um, real quick though, I just wanted to mention that I have a new website and I'm creating custom backgrounds. So if anyone is interested in that, I am taking commissions for them. So if you would be interested in that, the link to my website is down below. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the build. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. And also, if you'd like to follow me over on Twitter, you'll find all of my channel updates for YouTube if I have any, and also for Twitch where I stream Tuesday through Sunday. Um, times are usually to be determined because it's summer vacation time, so things have been tough for that. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I'm going to head out of here. So I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye!